Hi folks, good morning. Uh, so we have seen uh, a very high level view of MQTT protocol. Uh, the next step is to now learn a bit about the PAHO Eclipse project. Uh, using uh, the PAHO Eclipse project, we're going to be able to give uh, uh, MQTT APIs and uh, make our Android project. So what is PAHO? PAHO in the Maori dictionary means to broadcast. The PAHO project uh, is an Eclipse project, has been created to provide scalable open source implementation of MQTT uh, that can be used for machine to machine and Internet of Things. Uh, this is the uh, home page of the Eclipse PAHO project, eclipse.org slash PAHO. And if you look at this page, uh, it has various components here for various uh, client APIs. So we are interested in the Android. We go into Android service here, and this is the page for uh, APIs that we need to use to build Android apps. So if you go down this page, you have various links for various important things that you guys might want to look at, including the GitHub project, uh, the project information for Eclipse. Uh, and here we have information on how to use the PAHO Android client. Uh, if you're using Maven, then this is what you need to uh, upgrade your Maven file to. We're going to be using Gradle for the Android Studio. So we're going to be putting these two lines of code as dependencies to pick up the jar files for the MQTT libraries provided by the PAHO project. Uh, so for us to get to these two libraries, uh, you go into uh, the GitHub uh, Eclipse repo, uh, go into the paho.mqtt.java directory, and you'll see this link here, uh, which is the repo where you can get the Paho libraries. And if you click on that, you're going to come to this page, which has uh, the links to the client library as well as the Android service library. We need to go into this link and download uh, the version that we need. We can download the latest one and download the jar file for this and copy it into the lib folder in the Android SDK. Uh, the links to both these files are provided in the description of this tutorial. Let's download these two jar files and in the next lecture, uh, we will open Android Studio project, copy these two jar files into the lib directory and start making our project.